Hello everyone, today is an exciting day and an exciting video just because today we have for the first time ever on this channel an actual review of Samsung SSDs and what a better way to do a first video about it than with the 990 Pro and 980 Pro with a heatsink. Now I'm quite familiar with Samsung M.2 SSDs and even 2.5 inch because I use them in my uh, workstation, my main build that I use for editing and stuff like that. And I'll start with the sentence. So I had 850 Evo, one terabyte for over five years, never had, never reinstalled Windows, never did anything to it. The SSD worked properly through the whole five years. This year, when I rebuilt my system right here, I bought the 980 Pro 2 terabytes. Even though the X299 doesn't support Gen 4x4 speeds, I actually wanted to have something reliable that I already used in so many occasions and it's such a long period of time that it was just a normal choice to go with. Now today I'm going to show you the benchmarks, the tests, the reviews, the terminals and everything about the 990 Pro and 980 Pro with a heatsink. So you guys have more insights about these products, of course, with the specifications and stuff like that. So first of all, let's start with the, let's say, so-called boring stuff. And uh, let me tell you about the specifications of each one. So we'll start with the 990 Pro. It comes in a capacity of one and two terabytes. Uh, sequential read speeds can go up to 7,450 megabytes per second, while the sequential write speed go up to 6,900 megabytes per second. Interface is Gen 4x4 NVMe 2.0. Storage memory is Samsung VNAND 3-bit MLC. The controller is Samsung Pascal. Uh, we have uh, LPDDR4 DRAM which for one terabyte model is one gigabyte and for two terabyte is two gigabyte. It has uh, TCG and Opal 2.0 security, 600 terabytes TBW. Uh, now the cool thing about Samsung uh, SSDs is it has this cool application called Samsung Magician storage software. And uh, the latest one is 7.2, which uh, has a possibility to adjust the RGB control for the 990 Pro with a heatsink. You have data migration, which is outstanding. So for instance, you have a uh, 2.5 inch or an older uh, M.2 SSD. You don't want to, you know, do the whole and complete uh, reinstallation. I know there's a solution of doing an image and just, uh, you know, placing the image on another SSD, but data migration tool is quite outstanding. So you put your two Samsung SSDs inside your PC and you just press uh, copy and that's it. After you check all the documents and believe me, I did that I think three or four times because before 851 terabyte, I had another one which was 500 gigs. That was six, seven years ago. So basically you don't have to even check even though for your sake, do check it. But I did it for three, four times with my main OS and nothing was missing. So it actually does complete registry copy, uh, system files and everything. It works perfectly without a single glitch. And even if you, for instance, have games on another SSD, like a second one, which you want to separate operational system and applications with games, it even connects everything together. So when you turn on the games for the first time, it will work without any problem. So you don't have to, you know, go to the directories and adjust all the routes and everything. It works really good. Now, also with additional features uh, with the Samsung Magician storage software, you have a possibility to check uh, diagnostics, firmware and driver updates. It supports stream smart. It has uh, garbage collection. So auto garbage collection algorithm. Meantime, before failure is 1.5 million hours. And when we're talking about the warranty now, it goes up to five years limited warranty or basically 600 TBW as already stated. That's quite outstanding specifications, especially with the controller and the LPDDR4 cache memory 
but also it's uh, this one is single sided and it looks a bit uh, really thinner this one doesn't have any sort of heatsink or I don't know I don't think this at the back it does have some sort of a heatsink now for the 980 Pro this one comes with a heatsink and I do have to say Samsung really did create an outstanding design when it comes to the passive heatsink because I've seen loads of heatsinks on the M.2s and they are either big hideous or they just you know they look different I like slick minimalistic design such as this ones and would even consider removing the uh, heatsink from the motherboard just because of this one. But then again, if you have this one, you can't remove, I think you can't remove the passive heatsink because the warranty will be void. Now let's check out some specs uh, for the 980 Pro. Capacity goes from 250, 500 gigabytes, one terabyte and two terabyte. Uh, sequential read speeds go up to 7000 megabytes per second while the sequential write goes up to 5100 megabytes per second then 4 times 4 interface nvme 1.3c storage memory is samsung vnand 3-bit mlc and has samsung in-house controller cache memory for one terabyte is uh, one gigabyte ddr4 sd ram it supports trim smart it also has auto garbage collection algorithm Encryption support with AES 256-bit uh, encryption class 0 TCG Opal and one terabyte has the same warranty so five years or 600 TBW. Mean time before failure is 1.5 million hours. So basically it's almost the same specifications uh, in terms of um, mean time before failure, warranty, uh, cache and uh, stuff like that. Now let's check out the actual speeds. Now I've done loads of benchmarks here and we have AS, SSD, Auto Disk Benchmark, Crystal Disk Mark 7 and what we got here else is 3D Mark SSD Performance Test for Gamers. So let's start with Auto Disk Benchmark and checking out the write speeds for instance. Uh, 6.42 gigabytes per second and this actually destroys completely the Esgard AM4 and Cybertruck 4 Plus Gen 4x4 by 1.3 gigabytes per second, which is outstanding. Now, the read speeds uh, in Autodisk Benchmark, we have 6.95 gigabytes per second, which go in front of several rocking 4 plus by uh, 100 megabytes per second and it also goes in front of asgard an4 gen 4 times 4 by 300 megabytes per second uh, checking out the temperatures in autodisk benchmark when doing all of this 990 pro went up to 56 without even a motherboard heatsink which is outstanding because uh, usually I got some results around 65 degrees celsius on other ssds without a, even a heatsink so Imagine placing a motherboard heatsink or some other or maybe original heatsink that comes with 990 Pro You would most likely get even lower temperatures, but in all benchmarks none of these SSDs thermal throttle So you're good to go now crystal disk mark 7. Here's an interesting thing read speeds for the 990 Pro go up to 7461 megabytes per second and when we take into consideration that Cyber Rocket 4 Plus Gen 4 times 4 went up to 7143 this is astonishing then we go with write speeds which 990 Pro uh, gets 6874 and then we have Asgard AN4 with 5569 I don't even have to mention the others now Crystal Disk Mark uh, with uh, random 4K read IOPS we have 1.2 million and uh, random 4K write uh, IOPS 185 million quite interesting results and let's check out the last one so we have 3D Mark SSD performance test for gamers. It takes around 15 minutes or even 20 minutes to do the benchmark, which is quite actually a bit different approach and it doesn't measure the speeds. It, it has loads of benchmarks in games and synthetic benchmarks and it actually gives scores just like for the CPUs and just for the GPUs. So it got 3316 points. This is actually the first time I'm doing the 3D Mark test and I'll compare it to the 980 Pro. So since I mentioned 980 Pro, let's talk about the speeds with that. So Autodisk benchmark, this is where it gets interesting. 980 Pro gets 6.46 gigabytes per second and is 
400 uh, megabytes per second slower than the Cybertruck Rocket 4 Plus Gen 4 x 4 and 200 megabytes per second slower than Asgard AN4. When we go to the right speeds, 4.89 gigabytes per second and it's slower than the Asgard and the Cyber by 100-200 megabytes per second, which you can see in the graphs. But I would say this is quite alright, the 990 Pro destroys the competition completely without a single doubt. But here's the interesting fact, the temperatures on the 980 Pro with a passive heatsink don't go above 49 degrees Celsius. And this is what I was talking about, this was 56, right? And with the heatsink, which is really slim, check this out, and it has an outstanding thermals. So yeah, quite good. Crystal disk mark speeds go up to 6894 megabytes per second, which is for uh, 200 megabytes uh, per second lower than the Sebrad or Asgard. And the write speed go up to 4923, which is lower by 500 megabytes per second. But still it's up above silicon power, team group and everything you can see in the graph. The uh, random 4K read IOPS is 1.09 million and the random 4K write IOPS is 1.06 million. Now, for the 3D Mark, as already stated, the, the SSD performance test for gamers, the 980 Pro gets uh, 1941, while the 990 Pro gets uh, 3316. So the, these old benchmarks in 3D Mark are, as I already stated, in games, synthetic benchmarks, speeds while loading and stuff like that. So this is where you get. And 3D Mark states that community average is 2200 points. So yeah, I think this is still good. And I mean, I have this one without a heatsink in my PC with two terabytes and I'm quite satisfied without a single uh, issue. All in all, taking all the informations uh, when we're talking about the speeds, this one is definitely the king of the Gen 4 x 4 SSDs and I'll give it a PC crazy performance badge without a doubt because this SSD, if you have a proper motherboard and a proper uh, CPU, not like I have the old Gen 3 x 4, uh, but nevertheless, uh, it has an amazing speeds and that's really outstanding and it doesn't heat up during those speeds which is great it doesn't have thermal throttling it has a nice controller and everything works properly with it the best thing it's backed up with samsung magician so you can do wonders you can check the health you can check the diagnostics and everything it's really outstanding this one right here i'll give it a pc crazy approved badge and not just uh, because, um, well, yeah, just because I'm using it uh, right now and because I have used Samsung SSDs as my main OS uh, drive and everything was done there. So OS gaming applications and stuff like that, it, it has so much terabytes written on it and, and it still works perfectly. So for this one, PC Crazy approved badge, I'm really satisfied with it. When we're talking about the prices and when I take into consideration everything I stated about the durability and reliability, I think that's the price to pay to get that. And there are no mistakes with these SSDs. I really say this, but I place my main documents and everything on these, uh, on these kind of SSDs for the last seven to eight years. Altogether, taking into consideration the 850 EVO, 500 gigabytes, then the same one with one terabyte and 980 Pro with two terabytes. So definitely my recommendation if you're looking for a outstanding SSD with all of that I mentioned, links are in the description so you can check out the prices and all the other details if I might have skipped something, but I hope I covered everything and that you get all the information that you need to be convinced about these SSDs because I'm saying all of this because I had so much experience with these SSDs and you can't go wrong with them. So if you're new to the channel, don't forget to subscribe if you liked everything you saw. And of course, don't forget to hit the notification bell for future content so you don't miss anything else. And hopefully I will see you then. Thanks for watching. Bye bye.